Hello again. I've gone for something a bit different today. Um, Honey and Issues Guide to Fake Dating. It's just won the YA Book Prize of the Year of 2022. And I always like to read prize winners. It's a YA book and it is, as it says, about fake dating. So we have the fake dating trope. You've got two main characters, Hani and Ishu, both Bengali girls. Bengali girls, sorry. And they're in an Irish school and they are in the minority. And because they are the only two brown girls in the school, they are expected to be friends, but they're not. Ishu is a studious A-grade student. She is very focused on her studies and she doesn't really make friends. She's a bit abrasive. Hani, on the other hand, sorry, Hani, on the other hand, is open. She's friendly. She almost moulds herself to fit in with her friends rather than being herself. And... They come together because Hani has come out to her friends as bisexual, but her friends don't believe her. They don't support her, they don't believe her. And Ishu wants to be head girl, but she's not popular. So the two girls concoct a plan that if they are dating, um, for Hani it will allow her friends to accept her, uh, accept her sexuality. And for Ishu, because she's friends with Hani, because she's dating Hani, then she will become popular and then people will vote for her as head girl. So that is why they start fake dating. And we all know what these fake dating tropes end up with. So we know where it's going. But there's more to it than that, because you've got the families as well. You've got Ishii's family who are ambitious for her. They have very high expectations of her. And you get the feeling that is Ishii being this grade A student because it's what she wants to be, or is it because it's what she's expected to be? Hani's family, on the other hand, they are totally warm, they are totally friendly, and they accept Honey for what she is. You've also got the toxic friendships. You've got the way that Honey's friends don't accept her for her culture, for her religion. Honey is expected to conform with what they expect her to be rather than accepting her for who she is. So you've got a toxic friendship um, th element in here as well. It's it's an enjoyable story. It's a quite a sweet story. There's, there's lots in it. It's more than the fake dating trope. Um, I'm not the target audience. <laughs> I'm way too old to be the target audience. But it was a, a, an enjoyable read um, anyway. So, yeah, a fake dating trope. And we all know what happens with fake dating. And so this was the winner of the 2022 YA Book Prize for this year. So, happy reading. Take care. Bye.